I've got a question for you. How do the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? This topic goes much deeper than you and I could ever imagine, but I'm gonna shine just some light on what the sneaky banks and government are getting up to in order to strengthen inequality. Think about the bigger picture, consider all of us as a whole, and then we can address how, as a collective, they are targeting us. Government policy and big banks have absolutely played a plethora of roles in widening that equality gap between us and the fat cats of the world. Since 40% of the world's wealth is owned by 1% of the population, you can really understand what I'm talking about. Money given with conditions that help the creditors and not the countries who borrow it. Payday loans which have horrible, horrible adverts that try to lure us in offering unbelievable interest rates which can see you paying back thousands more than you borrowed and even the tips we pay waiters and waitresses when automatically added to the bill gets taxed back to the government. They'll even tax you when you die. The belief that inequality helped cause the Great Depression and the 2008 financial crisis is a theory supported by mainstream economists. Thomas Piketty, known as the Rockstar Economist, even believes that it has reached the point that inequality is the worst in the world and will only get worse. People who work in the world within various sectors, but the growth rate of that output is much lower than the growth rate of money given to people who have invested in land, stocks, bonds, and other assets, which strengthens the divide between those who can invest and those who are trying to earn. And of course, within all this, you've got the government and the banking system. They've both made the growth for investors higher, but whilst doing so, lowered wages. We aren't getting paid as much as people did prior to around 1969, and the rate of unemployment has increased along with it. New jobs that pop up now consist mainly of part-time work with no benefits for the employee. And to be honest, if you're trying to earn a living, who wants those? Then there's TARP, the Troubled Asset Relief Programme, signed in by Bush in 2008 to provide bailouts for banks. TARP can purchase assets and equity from financial institutions in order to strengthen its financial sector, but where this money actually goes is unclear. Unsurprisingly, loads of controversy and allegations of fraud surrounds it. But here's something interesting. Former Special Inspector General of TARP itself, Neil Borofsky, told Bloomberg in 2012. People should be revolted by a financial system that rewards failure and protects those who drove it to the point of collapse and will undoubtedly do so again. These words come from a former government official who worked directly with bailing out the banks. Consider that for a second. Bailing out banks that don't need it harms the economy. The fat cats up top get the money and the divide grows. Then there are the seven or eight wars we've been in for the past decade or so. Although war has been widely believed to be linked to the economic good times, Stiglitz said back in 2003, today we know that this is nonsense. Military spending on weapons and vehicles and everything else diverts the money to these needs rather than productive ones to help out the economy. The money goes to some but takes from others, making a shift, not a rise. Essentially, war makes us poor. Plus, you can't ignore the whole government policy encouraging American companies to go abroad to avoid taxes and even, in some cases, get tax refunds. We do have some people looking out for us, though. There's the Dodd-Frank Reform Act, brought in in 2010 to make another economic crisis less likely by overseeing the banks and Wall Street's moves, stopping banks from gambling with depositors' money and regulating risky derivatives. We need all the help we can get to stop a repeat of the past financial crashes. If you like this video, go on, get subbed right here by clicking here. And if you want to know more about the topic, let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out my last video about chemtrails, it's just here. And I'll see you soon, truth loaders.